Hello Tubesters, it's Gav, and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, I wasn't going to make this one, but it's just come through the post. So I thought, why not? Uh, I've just seen Bob's uh, over at Greybeard, Mo Greybeard Models uh, channel. Uh, he's just bought another, you know, the um, McFarlane Toys Warhammer big things that I bought one. Mine's dismantled, sanded. That's it at the moment. <laughs> he's on to his second one. Uh, I've not love, run out of love for it. It's just, I want... I've taken on this commission. I don't do as many commissions as I used to, and I, I don't want to get distracted. Uh, I'm still building the Lexington, and I've got some other figures uh, that I want to be working on as well. So, uh, uh, and also I want to gear up to building a one in thirty-five scale, uh, another one in thirty-five scale vehicle. Um, for as I've as I said to you guys, I want to do like a, a. It doesn't have to just be PTSD, but mental health. It's not an awareness thing or anything, uh, you know, we're, we're all aware of gas problems. Uh, but I just wanted to show that that can pick you up. Modelling, figure painting can pick you up, but especially for me, the scale modelling side of my hobby, uh, I, I find really difficult. As as, I, as much as I, I enjoy it, uh, I find it really difficult processing. My brain won't process instructions uh, like it used to. Uh, but anyway... Well, this is modelling related to, to it. It's, it's a bit of both, actually. So, um, what, what's Gab bought? Well, let's just... Uh, I'll have to put these on. Sorry about the reflections. It, it'll hopefully distract from the face. Uh, I've got myself a 54mm uh, construction kit, as it says here. And it's an FX, yes, FX Polish Lancer from their collection series, I believe it's called. Is it from the collection series? Yeah, well, yeah. Large letters, collection series on the back. You can see it's ancient, uh, it's all there. Although, uh, reason behind it, I, I, I enjoy painting my Napoleonic figures, well, painting figures in general, but uh, I enjoy painting Napoleonic figures, uh, uniforms, uh, you know, it's just uh, something I've always enjoyed doing. Now, I like mounted figures. Now, at the moment, you should be seeing these coming up, hopefully, as a tutorial. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing, but have a tutorial and two painted figures. That makes sense. Ages ago, I did the... It wasn't the Carassiers, it was the other ones. The Carabineers. And I did two painted figures and then did an unboxing so people could see. And that's quite popular. And I thought, I'll do the same again, but people have still said, well, Gav, I wouldn't mind seeing how you do your horses and your figures. So, these are going to be... Uh, again, the Perry's 28 millimeters, and they're going to be the French Eighth Hussars. Uh, going to be, hopefully, painted as a uh, uh, as a tutorial. But I'm saying that because I really enjoy mounted the mounted figures, uh, particularly, um, and I find them. I say I find them out of my price range. Yeah, hang on, Mockham and Wise going on there. Uh, I find busted nose, you see. Uh, it, Ooh, ooh, ooh. A bit of scratching there. We've got a got some music going on. Well, I'm not sure if you call it music, but hey. uh, diverging gaff. Yeah, I uh, I find that mounted figures, uh, modern mounted figures like the resin ones, they they're coming in at uh, uh, fifty to seventy quid a piece for a fifty-four mil figure. That's a heck of a lot of outlay for me. Um, I know you can get 3D ones coming around the 30, 35 mark. I'm not, still not convinced until they finally get all the styrations out of the way. And, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, so I was thinking, that's a shame now. I've always, you know, I'd like to do some mounted Napoleonic figures uh, and I just can't afford them. And uh, I just, the, the, you know, the, the, the airfix happened to pop up on a, on a search for some other figures. And I thought, well, you know what, they're old. Um, but maybe I could do something with it. You can still pick up these. Uh, if you're a collector out there, I'm not really fussed if it's sacrilege or not. <laughs> I'd, I'd prefer to see, if collecting plastic is your thing, go for it. Uh, I like painting it. So uh, it's gonna be built. Uh, I've never built one before. Uh, we're gonna have a look in a second. Uh, I've seen, oh, is it a bit soft, some of the details? I've seen painted versions because uh, obviously I've gone looking and we all know they do a whole host of them. Uh, 
Hystrix agents do some as well. I remember buying Hystrix agents uh, plastic kit of a Highlander. I ordered it with a postal order. That's how long ago it was. Uh, back in the mid 80s. Uh, I was about 17, 18. Came. I looked at it and thought, what was I thinking of? How could I ever paint a kilt? <laughs> or put one together that didn't look like a glue bomb. So uh, I wish I'd, I don't know whatever happened to that figure because I do it now. Because you're going for about 18 quid to 20 quid. Uh, Hystrix agents still do all those, uh, but they do a load of mounted figures, which I, I suppose I should have realised, and they, they pitch in at around the £20 mark. Um, so I might well get one of them as well at some stage, but I thought let's not go Burzrek as we say over here. Uh, so buying happy, just like, uh, like Bob from Greybeard Models or Sean from the Scale Model Car Guy channel. Um, there were a couple of poses I wasn't particularly interested in. I would imagine there are certain poses that go for more money. I wanted a, a runny, energetic, chargy... Are they actually words? But you know what I mean? Bounding a lot. Does a horse bound along? That's that's one of my pops. Anyway, you know, charging anyway, uh, rather than just standing there. I don't mind if they're, if they're munching the grass, the horse, and the, the you know they've got the neck down and the, and the reclining position with the rider. They're good as well. But I don't just like the... Like, like our horse guards out, outside to a horse guards parade, I believe. Horse guards parade, whatever. So uh, let's go down and see what uh, Airfix were producing. Um, it doesn't say any dates on this, so all you collectors out there will know uh, when they were brought out and all the rest of it. I remember them as kids uh, and I was always intimidated by them and, and they were a bit out of my price range at the time. Uh, so obviously I never bought one. So let's go down. I've no idea that it's supposed to be all there. Let's hope it is because I really don't think I'm going to be able to model somebody's head or the horse's head or a leg missing. We're in trouble if that's the case. It's supposed to be all there. Right, we'll have to go on drone view at the moment. Um, I should have actually put the bigger tripod up. I'm just being lazy. So that's our box. Right, I feel like Charlie Mack over at uh, Charlie Mack's uh, channel, I believe. Uh, opening one of his uh, one of his ancient kits that falls apart. It's, I don't think I actually own an ancient kit. All right, that's our bit of artwork, well creased and thumbed by the look of it. And we have some instructions. Again, I apologise. I didn't really think this through. I didn't think this would all be so big, really. Don't know why. I think it's because. On the whole, I make raisin figures that have absolutely no instructions whatsoever. Um, but that's our... I would imagine that we're going to... What do you reckon? Do you reckon we have to make a lot of the reins and the tack up ourselves? Tack is horsey language for the leather work on the horse. How about that? You learn something new, don't you? Um, as I say, this is, these are Polish lancers. So yeah, Polish first uh, lancers, uh, 1815. I have seen people convert these into Dutch red lancers as well. Obviously, that fought with Napoleon, and that's what you're supposed to get at the end. Um, I don't know if, depending on how it looks, is how it will get based. I'll probably put it on a wooden plinth with some type of, some type of base, you know, foliagey type base to it, rather than just on a. They do some. I, I was looking at the English Civil War. Um, I don't know if it was a Cavalier or not, or if they, you can get two choices, but uh, uh, that was quite appealing as well. But you've got to stop somewhere. I've got about four different figures. One, another one will be coming in the next couple of days that I've got in a sale, and I will be showing you. It might interest my American friends out there. Oh, we've got a rear view as well, and we've got some artwork there to show you what it's uh, what it looks like. Uh, Nice. Right, uh, just a bit of uh, Airfix bump. Looks like a, it reminds me of the old, you know, when you find an old newspaper. The name of the game, Mind Bending Games from Airfix. Well, my mind was bent out of shape years ago, so uh, I've got no chance. The Big Cheese. Well, I thought old Tom of the Rambler 69 was a big cheese on YouTube, if you don't mind. Uh, Yep. Right. I don't think we'll be sending off for the big cheese or anything else. 
Right. Now we've got two halves. Now that's good. That's a start. We've got two halves. Let's have a see how the... It's not good with white plush. I should have put my black background on. This was just a... I wanted to see how the horse hair over the hooves were you know so because they look really flat but they're not to be honest with you they're not too bad got a mold line across here but also that's also tends to be like a on a real horse it, it's like a on a big not a big blood vessel i'll take it but it's a it's a, a muscle piece that goes across there often but we'll reduce that so that's a bit i think that is just a mold line but at least we've got two halves We'd be looking really silly if we didn't. Um, we've got two halves of the same horse. Yes, we have. Good. I'm anticipating filling and stuff, so obviously we haven't got all our rough bits off, so it could be flatter than that yet. We will use Paul over at uh, Plastic Monkeys uh, how to get how to. Reduce your gaps without filling them. Oh, we've got a nice, oh, that's nice, nice pin mark there to uh, rub out. Yeah, I don't think we could disguise that somehow, so let's make sure that's removed. We should have one on the other side, I take it. Oh, how does that work out? I have no idea. Right, but we've got our horse. Uh, do we have a horse's head though? I think we've got a horse's head. Sorry for talking without showing you. No, we haven't. That's. that's uh, uh -huh. Oh, we have. Oh, oh, Gav was panicking there, guys. Right, hang on. Where are we? Let's go up a bit. There's our horse's head. Our legs. Looks like he's got the overalls on. I mean, you tend to find on war game figures, and and some some display figures to that for that matter. It's a big thing with creases on figures, in it as in in the a small pin injection pin mark or whatever it needs to be filled there. Uh, you know, sometimes they look too smooth. People say, oh, they need more. You know, ruckles in the fabric and that and. They don't always, you know, on, on the smaller figures it tends to be accentuated because you need to. I mean, we've got some divots in the in the front of the jacket there. Sorry, I should have put a darker background for white plastic. Uh, there's your base if you want to use that. Take it, it's not warped. Uh, how much did I pay for this? Uh, I got this on an only bid. Um, I believe I paid around a tenner for it, but that was I also had to pay a couple of three quid uh, postage. I've seen these. I've seen people asking for the different. As I say, I'm not a collector because there are people that will just collect the the blooming on the. You know, they'll, they'll never get to see the light of day as a as a built figure. Uh, They'll know more about it than me, you know, different ages of different, when they were different brought out at different times. I've been seeing some people asking for these figures, and I'm talking in general that all the Napoleonic, they do about is it half a dozen Napoleonic figures, and then a couple of others, they do the, the, the well-known Bengal Lancer, but that seems to be hard to get. And they do uh, um, some a couple of Revolutionary War, they do George Washington, and they do obviously a fair few foot, they do French Foreign Legion foot, foot figure, which I wouldn't mind getting. Um, but as I say, if you fancy this type of stuff, you don't want to do an Airfix one, go over to Hysterex Agents here in the UK and they do a whole host. Uh, they're, they're getting on in years now, these the, the, the Hysterex like the Airfix, but they're still, they're still in production and they do literally mind blowing amount of Napoleonic figures. If you've uh, different mounted ones, different foot figures. Uh, here's our lance, uh, one and truly a bendy. We might have to somehow 
uh, make a uh, wire one and I can see me doing that I don't think that's going to survive first contact with taking it off the sprue might do but it depends how bendy it looks it doesn't look too bad actually we'll see how that goes it might work um, what else we've got Shabraku is it Sh uh, the saddle blanket how many times I tell you guys that that's weird or does that just attach onto the side do you not seem to have stirrups on the side there hmm I'm not sure, so I'm trying to look. Sorry, I've not seen any of these type of things before, so I'm not, uh, I'm not 100 percent We've got our stirrups here. I'll have to look into that. Uh, covered carbine, bit of flash on, not a lot. Uh, it's it's obviously they used to cover the me uh, firing mechanism up. A bit soft, but you could either give that a skimmer potty or or, or just paint details in. Face. Obviously, we have to put our two halves of the the head together, and somewhere on here that's missing me at the moment, there'll be a face. Hopefully, there'll be a face. Oh, there we go. There's our tiny little face on the other sprue. Again, uh, not a th as I was saying with a couple of the Perry. Uh, heads you know that they're, they're a bit blank if that make if that's right and I don't mean all the Perry ones for anyone all the Perry lovers start jumping on my head um, I'll say what I mean when I unbox the, the French Hussars uh, coming up in a couple of weeks uh, but you know for, for somebody riding along at a charge he's it's fairly blank if that makes sense so we've got our, our horse's ears I've got a feeling there's going to be a bit of filling and sanding going on here. Still, in for a penny, in for a pound. Uh, our plume is a bit, again, a bit nondescript really. Maybe we can chisel that out of it. Or re-skim it and re we putty and redo it. We'll see. We've got our flounders here uh, to go on the shako. Not too bad. A bit of flash on the ends, which you'd expect. These are old kits as well. Uh, and that's about it really. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we've got. Let's see our bits of horse furniture. We've got more braiding to go on the uh, epaulets. Cartridge box embossed with the eagle. Fringe on the epaulets. That's acceptable. Uh, horse bit, I believe it's called. It's okay. The little fellas here. And there's our saber. And that's the uh, lanyard that the, the rider will put his hand through the sabre, stop dropping his sabre. Yeah, nice. I like that. That's not too bad, actually. It's fairly simple. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, what were we saying about bri uh, bride, uh, yeah, bridles, is it, and stuff? You get given, given this with a very, very thin piece of plastic card uh, to make your, cut out your bridles, which I would imagine... Don't know if they've got a template or you've just got to guess it, but uh, we'll have a look at those. Inst well, I'll, I'll be doing working with instructions later on. So, yeah, so we've got a model and a figure all in one go. So technically, after doing the M48 tank, I could get this completed and say I've got a second model built and a figure painted. Uh, anybody interested? Uh, <laughs> Bob, <laughs> go get yourself one of these. You'll have built three by the time I get this done. But. Uh, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to that. As I say, not, not overly... Exp yes, I, I get it, they're ancient. Um, but you can, as I say, they were going for 20 quid. I've seen... I, you can pick lots of these up at 10. Some weren't selling, some were. Some have got bids on. Again, I take it how how people want to you know, buy the... How much they want to pay for the figure or whatever. Um it's rare to get them postage included by the look of it. 
Uh, it's more, you know, um, personally myself, I I wouldn't want to pay more than 12, 12, 13 quid and then have to add three quid on postage. I wouldn't want to pay more than that and the downside less if I could get away with it. We all like a bargain. Um, but I definitely look at once I've done this one. I definitely look at maybe getting a Hysterex Agents one, which will be a bit more expensive, coming in at around the twenty odd pound mark plus postage. Um, but more on Hysterex Agents coming up uh, in a couple of days. We'll do another unboxing when it gets here. But no, I, I quite like that. There's some texture on the horse. Uh, I'll be doing my usual bits of texturing. Thinking with this one, I've never done it before. Uh, Painting some texture on, uh, paint some, but then also smoothing some out with the airbrush. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, but yeah, as I say, maybe look into it, guys. It, obviously, I can't tell you until I've done it how I'm actually might think I'm actually should be working on Lexington tonight, but I might actually uh, have a go at taking this apart and um, getting it to the stage where she's actually all put together she she's not a ship gav but you know what i mean uh put it all 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 together so i can um uh, know what i've got to fill uh, but yeah I, i'm looking forward to that that's going to be a nice little project i think i've got a base as well i can stick stick it on as well so uh yeah hopefully you'll enjoy following along on that now surely surely i'm covering the bases here because as i've always said i normally get either I'll get my war gamers don't like anything that's outside the war gaming. The modellers don't like anything outside the modelling. Uh, there's very few lovers of display figure painting, which really annoys me. Uh, so, surely this touches all the bases. So, take care of yourselves. Thanks very much for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, I have to say, I've got another one coming from Hysterex. Uh, it's not one of these, it's, it is a resin figure, modern resin figure. Um, and I'll show you that s as soon as it gets here. Uh, as I say, I've got work to do on the uh, priming tomorrow on the on the Perry 228 millimeters. I've also bought um, at a, like a cost price off eBay uh, another, not this one, but another one of um, these Corvus belly figures. I absolutely love them. I just don't ever get a chance to really do them. I know it's not big on my people, not really interested. Search for them. In fact, that's the guy I've got. Hakislam figure. Uh, I've also got another figure of interest coming as well. Uh, something I've always wanted to do, well always, the last 10 years or so since I really noticed them and uh, I managed to pick one up at a reasonable -ish price. So uh, we'll have a look at, well it's not really a lot to show you on that one but I'll show you it just to explain what I want to do. So look after yourselves, uh, uh, take care uh, if you want a, a game called Spectra or Big Cheese, hit, hit Airfix up. You never know. They might have some on their dusty shelves somewhere. Uh, Gary's from Gary's uh, stuff is well in with uh, Airfix. Maybe he can resurrect the Big Cheese. You never know. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch each other soon on another video. Cheers.